Santiago is like uh, two hours away from the capital. It's more like a city, but it, it is it's more just like this when we got like uh, a lot of places to eat, hospital, pharmacy, over down my house. Like basically you can walk everywhere. It's a lot of stuff going on. People really drive crazy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna come here because I don't know, my aim was gonna help me out with the visa or whatever. Because at the time when I wanted to come here, I didn't, I wasn't playing basketball. So I always wanted to come here to go to school or to live here. But I wasn't expecting that I was gonna come here through basketball. You know, I started playing basketball when I was about 15. And uh, when I was about 16, they had like a tryout, the Dominican international team. There were around 250 players, and I made the team out of 12 players. We went to Puerto Rico, and I was playing in Puerto Rico. And uh, this guy came up to me speaking English. I didn't know any English. And then this lady told me that she was going to translate to me. When she translated, she said that he was saying that he wanted me to come to uh, New Jersey to play basketball and go to school. And I said, yeah, that's my, my biggest dream, to come to the state and play basketball and go to school. So after three months, they sent me all the I-20 and the documents to go to the embassy, and I got the visa, and that's how I got here five years ago. When I first came here, I moved in uh, New Jersey. I stayed with two different host family. For uh, the first, first host family, I stayed with them for a year, and then I moved to a different host family. You know, it was really hard at the beginning because, you know, I'm trying to have a conversation with somebody, but I can't really say nothing. I was speaking sign language and uh, everything was different. The food was different, the weather was different. So it was really hard. But then I wanted to keep working to provide for my family and then help them later on in the future and so they can have a better life. So it was like one of my motivation, you know, to never give up and just keep going. And my house family, they brought me uh, this program, it's called Rosetta Stone. I don't know if you heard of it. So I used it for three months. It was kind of funny at first because I was hearing myself and stuff and I got to type. So after three months, I got kind of tired and I spoke to my family back home. We're like, I really can do this. Like, this is hard. I can't really speak with anybody. Everything is different. And they told me to hang on there, to keep going and never give up. And, like I said before, I wanted to provide to my family later on, maybe they can have a better life. So I just kept going and never gave up. Family always like my biggest motivation. I had 15 offers. They treat me different. When I first came here, I felt like I was hanging out with this guy for a long time. They treat me like family. And then I got to play with the guys and really feel good. I play 4-4, four, four, you know. We got a lot of people coming to the game. Sometimes you go out and somebody say hey to you that you don't even know who that is, you know, because everybody know you. They really come uh, and support you. They know your name and everything. And they treat you with respect and they basically are family. I miss everything though, for real. Like, I miss the food. If somebody comes from the Dominican here, they will say that they haven't eaten because they haven't eaten any rice and beans or chicken. We do it every day, every day, probably twice a day. When I go back home, I'll, I do like little camps and I always talk to the little kids, you know, don't give up. If you have a dream, uh, don't, don't let anybody tell you that you can really do it, you know, because I came from the Dominican Republic. I didn't have any idea that I was going to be in this position right now. So whatever is your dream, just keep, go keep going, keep working hard and never lose faith.